candle becomes green. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. The candle becomes red. <laughs> sell, 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 sell. Oh, yeah. The red news is gonna move the market big time if I'm in it. Oh my god, and I'm right, I'm gonna make so much money. Like this, they're just crying in the corner like, oh my god, I can't believe I lost another 15k in five minutes. Oh my god, I lost 15k, oh my god. Oh my god, I lost my funded account, whatever it is. And as a result, we're involved now, and we're good to take it. We're seeing that footprint follow through now. And now, very simply, I manage these bursts. Very, very easy. So all I do is I take this now. Right, and I move it onto the next 15 minute low. Simple as that, and then I press on. So again, stop loss is here, so it's off the order books. Hi, hi, you guys already seen this too many times, but this is my day in the life of, this is all I do all day long, over and over again. And we're secured there, and it's, I mean, it's disgusting how easy um, things can get when you finally understand how to follow price. Quick disclaimer, uh, these videos are meant for educational purposes only. Anything said or shown in any of these videos are personal opinion and my perspective. A trading carries a high level of risk, so anything done is your responsibility. <laughs> All right, hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Ment FX. In this video, we're gonna make it kind of clean. Um, so it's morning right now. It's 8, 10 a.m. on February 27th. I mean, it's a Monday. Uh, the trading sessions have started. We spoke recently in our Sunday's webinar about the GJ Longs, which are delivering absolutely beautifully. And as a result, people are taking that to the top side using the triple M's here. So the bursts are coming in. This is somewhat private content, private membership content, but that's fine. This is basically a triple M burst. Now. EU, on the other hand, is something that we want to follow along. We've been talking about taking this thing long, start of the week, and you and, and hopefully seeing it continue long and maybe even targeting the highs up here because we've undergone the reaccumulation plays, as we've spoken about. But the main thing I'm jumping on to talk about today is the fact that as this is all happening, this is a Monday, it's a beautiful session, we're actually getting a beautiful tap into an area that I really want to go long from. I actually want to take longs here extremely badly. Like, this is perfect, this is the perfect setup, and I want to take longs. However, there's one thing in the way, and that is that at 8.30 a.m. today, that means in about 19 minutes from now, there's going to be red news that drops. Now, moments like these decide whether or not you're going to be trading long term as a trader or if you're just going to have some success potentially and over time you're going to fall off and the reason for that is because a lot of people don't realize still to this day that red news uh rollover end of market close of market open of market are all times during which there can be spread increases that are significantly higher than what you might expect and as a result also chop your price action more back and forth price action that is how news is basically used to um, liquidate people. So today, as we're here sitting with the team and looking at some of the stuff, you know, we're all looking at similar areas. We all want to kind of get long on this. We're all talking about how, you know, this is setting up a very good long. We spoke about these longs before they ever occurred on Sunday, spoke about exactly what we expected and how price was going to move. And price is moving exactly that way currently. So the longs are going to be very nice this week. This week, this is probably going to set up into some very nice longs that come here or even deeper, right? And that's what we're going to be looking to trade this week as our bias. However, with that in mind, Today is the kind of day that decides whether or not you're going to be profitable long term because now what's happening is, and I wrote it right here, we're all waiting. There's great moves. We're all waiting. But this is where something important comes out, right? I basically say that I'm sussed out about this move just because of the news in 20 minutes, right? The, the red news is coming out. Now, again, it doesn't matter where that news is heading up, down, left, right, center, field, backfield. Someone knows, someone doesn't know. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. All that matters is the consistent thing that news always tends to do to any market. And that is, Either prior to the news dropping, you get range bound markets that do nothing and or liquidate highs and lows back and forth due to the fact that there's anticipation on all sides and there's stupidity running into the market. This is dumb money getting involved on any move they see, right? The candle becomes green. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. The candle becomes red. <laughs> sell, 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 sell. And it goes back and forth like this and that can be the anticipation. And then you can have the same thing happen even during news and then a little bit after. And then when the news drops, you can get insane spread increases that in some cases can stop you out of trades that you're already in and take and make you lose more risk. There can be connectivity issues. That means that all of a sudden a risk that might have been 1% might have an issue and end up being a much bigger loss. So you basically open yourself up to risk that you shouldn't be open to. And even though in this moment right now, this move is perfect. I'd love to be on my lower time frames right now or even taking the triple M burst private mentorship concept right now. I'd love to take this long. However, Due to the fact that I've studied my system, I've understood how news operates in the market, there's a very, very strong likelihood that due to the fact that in 17 minutes, red news is dropping, that this price on lower time frames is going to find a way to basically do a little bit of this back and forth. And a lot of people within right now at this moment, whether they're retail or smart money or whatever they are, 
are going to be stopped out multiple times and they're going to get keep getting stopped out and then what's going to happen is if there are for some reason many orders that have been concentrated on this move well then what's going to happen when the red news does drop is you're going to see insane spread widening and even more back and forth kind of stuff right so as the red news drops it can do something like this very easily right and this is where people get liquidated this is where people lose unnecessary amounts of risk so today what i want to do for this video is i'm going to pause this in a second and we're going to allow this now to play out we're going to look at this on maybe a little bit of a lower time frame you can see it's come in um started making relatively large wicks wicking back and forth now as we spoke about right coming in bearish relatively bearish so that's pretty good and who knows maybe as the news drops we actually get a really good move and then we can follow it up you'll likely see me taking this long after the news drops but this is the most important thing about today when there's news you need to learn to understand when to stay out and wait for that dumb money to do their thing right dumb money is doing their thing right now this is the dumb money exchanging hands playing back and forth and if enough dumb money gets involved they're still going to get stopped out and then you're going to get the moves that we're actually looking for right I don't know whether this news is going to be positive or negative. All I know is that overall, after this news generally passes, the anticipation of this market is that we're going to get a long off of this area. And we're going to come and liquidate the next high. And then likely into the week, we're going to keep going higher. Now, how that happens is going to depend on how orders flood into this market. When dumb money plays their dumb game around these areas, it's going to decide the precedent for how the news is going to deliver. And as a result, you as a as a as a hopefully a profitable trader should learn to stay out of times just like this because this is where people lose money so just like what i wrote here i'm sussed out about taking this move because the news is in about 20 minutes uh, so now it's in about 15 minutes i said basically this could be an easy setup um that would now range for about 15 to 20 minutes make some cr crappy breaks back and forth so this would be your change of characters or whatever like it doesn't matter what you call it break of structures change of characters that people love to trade but there's nothing to take or they're spraying the, the wyckoff whatever it is not going to be good trades then the spread that's going to come in are going to start forcing uh people out of the market in in both directions and then the red news at 8 30 um is basically going to result in money loss for a lot of the people that are trying to fight the game of Let's get in, let's get in, let's get in because it's clean. Doesn't matter how clean a move is, if red news is coming up and you're not in a trade already or not managed on it, you should not be in it. It's as simple as that. You make this a rule of your trading and you're going to see consistent growth. You don't make this a rule and you might see it pop off and do very well for you short term, but long term when that news comes in and connectivity issues happen, broker issues occur, spread issues occur, um, slippage issues occur, you don't get out of the position at the, at the price you wanted. You get slipped over and over again. You take multiple entries, it goes back and forth that's when you lose your entire account. That's when you can lose 20, 30% of your account in one sitting. And that is why I personally do not trade right before red news unless I'm already positioned. And if you're on a higher time frame, it's a little bit different because you have bigger spreads, that, uh, you have bigger um, stop losses that you're usually working with. So you have more allowability for that volatility, which is in, in which case is fine. But I'm talking about specifically the people that are right now looking to get involved at this moment and wanting to get involved here. If you're someone that's taking a buy here though and protecting, let's say, um, down below that daily low and looking to take that for a swing there's nothing wrong with taking a trade right now even though news is coming up because you're allowing the volatility that's going to happen with the news that is likely to happen not always but that is likely to happen to basically be absorbed by the fact that you have a much bigger stop during a time that red news is coming however for someone that's taking something like this or someone that's even confirming inside of here you're likely going to expect a lot of back and forth price action a lot of wiki price action that looks to take you out a few times right and then you're going to usually experience some kind of spread increases that are going to make you very upset the reason i bring this to your attention is one because this can make you profitable by a sm just a small addition like this can make you profitable not financial advice but it can um and at the same time i recently saw someone on ment funding someone messaged me and they said i cannot believe this you know i was in a trade and i got stopped out at 3x the risk i took and i was like holy shit, that's terrible like there, there's no way that's right let me check it out and then as I go into his account, what do you, what do you think I find? He, he traded two, no, not even two. He traded about 45 seconds before non-farm payroll dropped. That is a very red news event. The second he traded it, once again, slippage occurred, high spread volatility occurred. And as a result, he got stopped out almost instantaneously and on about 3x of the risk that he wanted to put in because that's how red news operates and just like I spoke about what he wanted to be a risk of 1% became a risk of 3 to 5% what he wanted to be what you want to be a risk of 1% might become a risk of 10% this is why you need to be aware of how red news enters and moves the market not how news itself fundamentally is going to move the market because again fundamentally I don't give a shit whether it goes up or down I know that this market is in accumulation and I'm looking for accumulation if that doesn't play out it's going to show me that it's going to fall off and I'm going to be wrong and I'm going to walk away 
Otherwise, I'm going to be right and great. I predicted the news, but that's not about that's not what we're that's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is we're understanding how news affects the market when it does enter and how we can do very very simple things, very small things to put ourselves ahead of everyone else because when the dumb money is doing everything they can to get involved here because the zone looks great, the mo the moves look amazing. The the chalky flippy dippy zones start to look really really clean. It starts building their they're like whatever the, the the triangle of doom right it doesn't matter what you want to call it there's going to be an endless amount of people that want to get in with the pre-anticipation of the news like oh yeah the red news is gonna move the market big time if i'm in it oh my god and i'm right i'm gonna make so much money and then the worst part that can happen is that you do make money and then you repeat this over and over and over again until you lose all your money, right? The same story that I just told you about the men funding guy is going to happen eventually to someone that doesn't understand this principle of entering before big red news events. So if you're someone that trades a lower time frame or is looking to enter and, and wants to like basically take stops of five, 10 pips, 15 pips, well, over time, red news is going to destroy your account. So be aware of that. Um, if you're trading a much higher time frame, yeah, you, you allow for that volatility to happen and then you're fine. But notice what's happening. You're on lower time frames because people are confirming this on five second, one seconds, on candle confirms, whatever it might be. There is a lot of back and forth price action here. You can see certain lows getting liquidated, highs getting liquidated, highs getting reliquidated, reliquidated, now liquidating new lows. Because what's happening right now is you're having the anticipatory traders that are sitting there at this beautiful zone going, oh my God, I got along this zone. I got along this zone. I got along this one. And they get stopped out right they're, they're longing here and now they're getting stopped out by this then they're logging with their stop under here now they got stopped out now some of them are like okay extend the stop a little bit more there we go we're good we're good we're good and they're probably going to get stopped out it might come back up here to take out the people that are longing short now and then come and take these guys out because as the red news comes comes in as there's this much anticipation a lot of liquidity enters the market which means that there's a lot of orders to be paired off with D bigger orders smarter orders and as a result as those orders get paired back off back and forth there's so much liquidity that can move the market that they can easily start taking people out on both sides which is why if you're someone that's sitting there trading right before news drops in about nine minutes now so it's 8 21 a.m right now and news is dropping at 8 30 there you go the people that are longing this thing using whatever they are one minute five minutes uh doji's hammers 30 seconds five seconds 10 seconds chalky flippies dippies um wikis lickies doesn't matter what you're using i'm dr seuss all of a sudden but anyone that's using any of these methodologies are basically getting wicked out now despite the fact that this move is extremely clear extremely clean right this 15 minute zone is very very good and still clean and i'm likely going to trade off this but i'm waiting until after the news drops because i know that most dumb money is shoveling shoveling their life earnings the money they owe the mafia the debt the money they need to feed their families whatever it might be endless amounts of dumb money that need that capital that need that money that need to feel like they're trading are shoveling money into this market right now at this zone whether to the long or short side and as a result just like we just looked at on a lower time frame are getting stopped out back and forth because you are create you're, you're entering a market where so much liquidity is being entered that you're going to get wicked out back and forth and back and forth until the red news drops at which point a lot of people would have lost morale they, they, they feel bad because they weren't able to predict the market direction. They don't understand how they're always wrong. Maybe even the spread increases, stops them out at more than they anticipated. Now they're very sad. And that's when I step in, in, in the footprint of the composite operator, whatever you want to call it, and I get involved on my trade. And there's nothing more to it. And I just sit there and I, and I sit back and I allow my trade to play out. All today's video is about is just recognizing that when there's red news, there's no reason for you to be in it. All right. It's as simple as that. Um, Unless you're already in it or you're trading a much higher time frame, in which case that's fine. Um, but again, I'm looking to take this off of 15 minute, right? I'm likely going to be entering a trade probably as it comes and makes a triple M for, for, for you private mentorship students. I'm probably going to be entering a triple M around this area here. Um, so you guys know what that means. Um, but that's only after news passes. So all I'm waiting for right now is the 8.30 a.m. to pass. If we're still within my zone and still mitigating and then moving long, I know what has happened inside of here weak to strong hand transfer aka accumulation and now i can get involved on clean price action because now the stupidity has passed the dumb money has finished getting involved the the, the dumb money is emotionally broken inept right they're just they're just beaten down they're sitting in the corner now like this they're just crying in the corner like oh my god i can't believe i lost another 15k in five minutes oh my god i lost 15k oh my god oh my god i lost my funded account whatever it is and that's when i'm gonna step in and get involved so i'm gonna pause this for now
I'm going to wait till the till the 8.30 a.m. kind of bell hits because um, that's the exact time that Red News is dropping today. You can see it here on TradingView, but you can also see this on any economic website. Uh, my website actually, mentfx.com, maybe you're watching this in the future, is going to have its own economic calendar on there. So you can always check it out there. There's going to be a hub for traders basically. So check it out. But right now, notice what's happening. You can see how this how this, how this this 15 minutes has already developed, right? Like we spoke about, there's that back and forth that's occurring. There's people getting stopped out on each one of these wicks that takes out the next wick, takes out the bottom wick, top wick, bottom wick. That's money getting replaced and getting smart to, is getting um, weak to strong hand transferred, right? And we're gonna let that happen. And then after it happens, that's where we're gonna get the clear moves. After 8.30, despite the fact that we're already in the zone for a while, that's when we're gonna get our moves. You know why? Because at that point, smart money is positioned and now you can get involved in accordance with that money, right? So. Again, do I know where this market's going to head? No. Do I know what the news is going to be, positive or negative? No. But do I know that if I stay out right now, I'm building my edge? Yes. And do I know that if I get involved after where the market is still within this context of a long to come and clear this high and then continue higher potentially to the areas that we spoke about up here? Yes. So that's what I'm going to be entering and then I'm going to be looking to manage it accordingly. And that's how you make money in the markets and that's how you generate edge. All right. I'll see you guys soon. I'm just going to pause for a second and we'll be back at around 8.30. All right. Peace. All right, just coming back here, we're about 35 seconds from closing the 15 minute candle, putting us at 8.30 a.m. Just going to let that occur, let that news drop. We're setting up for a very, very nice long here. We're holding that demand zone up optimally. Probably gonna look for a buy stop of this high as per the triple M, uh, fractal triple M and CS as per the private mentorship and as per kind of the last video I released publicly on the on the MetaFX YouTube. So that's gonna create a pretty nice move. Um, yeah, I'm happy to take this. So we're going to wait the seven seconds, let the spread do its thing, because again, spread is likely going to go crazy. There we go. That is why we wait. 8.30 drops. That's the triple M occurring. Likely going to take a bicep of this high would be really nice. So that's what I'm going to set up right now. Stop order of that high. Stop under the low. As simple as that. Spread, you can see, is now doing fine, right? Spread has basically undergone whatever spread increase it might have had to go it's at about back to around zero now happy to take this buy stop i'm going to very quickly look at this sl value it's 1.05503 1.05503 get myself personally there we go there we go get myself off of the um order book just like that throw my stop loss under the low, very simple, and press on. And now very simply, if price gets below this low, I'll be out of the trade fully. My SL is not actually here. My SL is, there we go. My SL is not actually here. I'm just doing this for the purpose of um, having my SL off the order books or you know, way further off the order books, but this will be the stop out level. So if price hits this line, I'll be fully out of the trade. But this is now a trade I'm willing to take, right? It's as simple as that. I let the dumb money do their thing. I let it set up. And now in the case that it wants to present that longing opportunity, which it's still part of, I'm happy to get involved. Let's see if we got buy stopped in yet. Nope, not yet. There we go. Oh shit. And we ordered, we, we entered more lots than we should have been, than we should have entered. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna market order this now with a stop under this low. That was my bad. Yep, that's okay though. 15, and then I think that's fine. Let me double check the risk on this. About 2.2, so that puts me at about 1%. Your 1%, yeah, this is good. Yep, all good. How do I how do I turn on one-click trading? Um, there we go. That's not it, is it? I think that is. Yep, and we're good, simple as that. So this SL line will take me out of the market. I don't have this fully set up yet, but that's fine. Um, looking good. So the long on this is based off of this trade right here. This is what the long is based off. And now I'm going to manage this as per the bursts, as per the live trading number 14 available in the private mentorship. Um, and that, that link is right below, of course, if you want to be part of that. But notice what we did here. We waited. We allowed the dumb money prior to the 830 news. And that means everyone prior because a lot of dumb money is doing a lot of stuff there prior as well. We let them do their thing. We let them play their game. And as a result, you saw that game get played with many back and forth, a lot of transfer weak to strong. As 8.30 hit, the move was still there. The move that we anticipated before price ever delivered was still there, was still clean and was still clear. And as a result, as I look at that, I go, okay, this is a market that I'm still willing to long. It's still within the uh, context of a long. The news has surpassed or has just passed. It's dropped, the news is out there, everyone knows the news and it's still moving the way I expect it to move. So now smart money in my mind or the composite operator is going to move this market higher. And as a result, we're involved now and we're good to take it. If it dips down a little bit lower, I might take a, uh, I might take another, Oh no, so we're in with like 37 lots. Okay, cool. So we're good. 
Oh, we had a risk percent of 0.75. Okay, yeah, so we're good. We didn't enter with the lots. We entered with our proper risk. Okay, looking good. Looking very good. Yeah, and we're just going to take off now. There we go. All right, I'm going to pause for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm just going to share some stuff with the private mentorship now. Yeah, all right, we're back here. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Now we're just going to manage this trade accordingly to the burst methodology that I teach in Live Trading 14, as well as some of Webinar 90. I, I gave you guys some access there and I showed you some live trading there. So again, if you do want to join the private mentorship, here's my shilling. You can jump off this now if you don't if you don't feel like listening to this. But if you do want to join the private mentorship, Live Trading 14 shows you exactly how I do this and how I test this and how I test it live with forward tests and all that fun stuff. Um, and now we're positioned. And again, this was all based on the exact same thing we spoke about just as I started today's video, because I was like, this is going to be an op uh, that this is going to be an optimal video that's going to explain this because one, I see it setting up the way I want it to set up. Two, the news hasn't dropped yet, but still, I know what the market's going to do despite the news not dropping or me not knowing anything about news other than the fact that news is happening. Three, price was in the zone that we expected to be in. Four, I told you that all traders that are normally getting involved here are getting stopped out on both sides, and we're likely going to see a wick down, wick up, whatever it might be. Five, as news drops, I would tell, I told you guys that you're going to see spreads widen. And if they don't widen, they stay normal. And it's still within the zone. We're going to see longs come in because that's the footprint that's now being left by big money. And as a result, as we buy stop that high to get involved, we're seeing that footprint follow through now. And now very simply, I manage these bursts in about nine minutes or so. I mean, this is already a very good burst. So I'm probably going to manage about 50% of the position right now, very simply. So all I'm going to do personally is I'm going to move stop loss to break even just like that and at the same time I'm going to manage 50% right now because this is already an insane burst that I'm you know that's coming near the high that I'm looking for so this is a happy manage 50% that's a manage of I'm going to let it just push as much as it wants to push now I'm going to have a theoretical stop right now at around these levels so you know price just can so I'm going to just keep on moving that theoretical stop and letting it go I'm going to close 50% at that yellow line basically actually we can uh, we can type it in so we can go actually that's good enough so we'll go close 50% there we go, 50% got closed. So that's just my trade manager that I'm using right there in front of you, um, very simple. And now, very simply, stop loss is moved to break even. This is now bursting up, so this is now set at stop loss. And I've taken a partial right here, right? Very simple. And the rest now runs with the market. And now I just managed for the rest of the day, nothing really to do. So I'll update you guys when this trade is over and I'll show you guys how I manage that. So now all I do is press partials on and very simple. If price comes here, it'll stop me out. Notice how my SL is still down here. This is part of not being on the order books, right? The, the SL is far from the actual price. So on the order books, I don't even look like I have a position at break even, but the position's actually at break even. It'll be stopped out off this line. So this is just my manager. It's available in the description below. And there we go. We managed that burst, very easy and now we're just going to wait until uh, we're just going to manage it accordingly and then i'll be back with you guys i'm going to pause for now and show you guys the management of that as we keep going okay all right just jumping back in here because it's going to take a while um so i'll probably update you guys at the end of the day or tomorrow because this trade can easily i mean like i don't know maybe it'll come right back but you know this trade can easily for the next few days maybe maybe even for this entire week um end up playing out this move that we're looking for right but just coming back to it because I'm going to stop the recording and then just restart the recording another day once this is fully played out. Maybe that's today. Who knows? Um, but again, just to recap, if you, you, there's an edge, there's an inherent edge in just staying out during red news moves and understanding how red news or red news um, uh, spread increases and stuff it, it basically has an effect on the market. Notice how as you're watching this, there's not a single point in which I just explained to you what news is coming out. I still don't know what news it was. What was it? Durable goods. I, I don't even know what that means. So notice how there wasn't a single time during this video where I said, hello guys, the durable news today is going to see a 16.5% increase in the fucking GDP of the XYZ. And as a result, you're going to see gold be demanded at a level higher than Euro US dollar. So Euro US dollar is going to pull that to the, to the top. And then as a result, we're going to... I didn't have to do any of this kind of explanation because I don't know how fundamentals affect the market whatsoever because they don't matter because price moves is what I've studied my entire life and it's what I've taught and it's what I've seen work for people. It's what I've seen work for myself and I've tested it. Instead, what I did coming in today is I said, hey, we spoke with the mentorship. So again, if you want to see this, Webinar 90 has the exact outlook within which I sent this out and explained it. And even, even that said, so we have a few people that took this by as well. Um, but even that said, this morning, what I sent out was, you'll see this, so GJ was playing out, was this, right? I sent out this exact move and I said, 
EU setting up a nice double MB on the 15. I may look to follow this. Watch out for the red news at 8.30, right? Then I said it's getting really nice. So you can see this is when price is now tapping in. This is what I, we just spoke about. It's getting really nice. As per the trade talk, I'm waiting until after 8.30 a.m. This is where a lot of dumb money trades hands. That's that weak to strong hand. A lot of dumb money is just trading hands back and forth, back and forth, getting stopped out on each side. Because again, there's anticipation and there's this need, adrenaline to get involved. You can see on a lower time frame. So if so, we just, like I showed you guys here in this video, um, there's wicks at the top and the bottom. And that is basically indicative of traders getting stopped out back and forth in anticipation or in trying to predict the news, right? Or whatever. This is where you develop an edge just by sitting on the sidelines. If you sit on the sidelines, you develop an edge, just like we just showed you. We sat on the sidelines until after the news had dropped, spread had done its thing, and then we expected the move to remain because it continued being in its zone, okay? We maintained this demand zone, absorbed in the next four to 10 minutes. I'm happy to take a long, and I got in on the long. You guys saw me execute that right here uh, today. We saw a number of people in here executed as well. Uh, we had, we had, where was the... I know Snow got in it. He CS the 13 minute. Yep, very clean there. Very clean trade. This guy didn't get an entry, but that's fine. That's part of the game. We don't always get entries based on our, our systems. And you guys saw me partial it here, and we're still going, right? There's nothing for me to do now. All I have to do is now manage this trade. We're managed at break even, and this thing can run, right? It could take an entire week of running. But the reason it was a good trade is because I waited. I know the edge is in waiting for the news to pass, because in this case, there's red news. I allowed it to happen. I allowed the dumb money to shuffle in, do their thing. Then, as the news comes, price is still within the zone we expected longs from. Price is still delivering as per the webinar that we had in webinar 90 where we spoke about the longs delivering. Price is still delivering from the zone that we wanted price to deliver from. So as a result, that price is mitigating the same zone, hasn't absorbed the zone, hasn't broken past the, past the zone, and is holding the bias we're looking at, and the news has passed, and the dumb money has traded hands, what do we know is true about the composite man footprint? Well... All we know is true is that those orders are now being supported and are likely to be supported upwards. Now, we don't always get moves this fast and this big, but this is just proof of concept just to just to explain to you that what we do is the same thing every time. And notice how I don't know anything about your durable goods orders that affect the bing, bing, bing. I don't know anything about this. I don't care. It doesn't matter because I understand what's happening with the move. The move is sustaining itself. It's sustaining itself off the three box. It's building up the three box from a from a prior left to right downwards moving three box and while it's within a higher time frame narrative for longs to an area that we expected to get long and then to continue going long so there's no reason that i'm not going to look to get long and the start of the week comes and we start getting the move that we're expecting and it's starting to mitigate the area we expected to mitigate and then news passes and it's still within the area we expect and setting up a trade Bing bong, that's when we get involved. And now I'm involved and now I'm managed. Yes, I could have waited and, bro and broken and, and taken a partial higher up. But again, we don't play the what if game. This is the same thing as what if your grandma was a trillionaire, then you wouldn't be trading. I don't play the what if game. I sit there and I manage my trades as I should manage them based on my testing, right? And again, if you want to know how to test, how to take these, you know, concepts and, and build upon them and, and get really, really refined at them, you should join up with the private mentorship because in the private mentorship, I show this all beforehand. I speak about the exact zones we want to trade from and why we want to trade from them. Again, not financial advice in any way, just my perspective. I show you guys how I personally test. I show you guys how I back test my own things. I show you guys how to data collect. I provide you with the exact tools for data collection. So if you really care about your own education and you're constantly stumped wondering, how do I get to his level, blah, 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 blah. Well, you have access to that and that's through mentfx.com, that link on the bottom. Otherwise, if you have the tools and you understand what you're doing, and you're doing it very well, well, join up with mentfunding.com for some of the best spreads and commissions on the entire profit space where we have one step, only one step. So, you know, it's very cool. Um, okay, that's enough for me. I will update you guys as this trade is managed. So very simply, I've basically set an alarm now for every 15 minutes because this was based on a 15 minute entry. And very simply, the way I manage these trades, these what I call them burst trades, is I wait for candles to make a burst. So if this candle bursts, I'm going to move my stop loss to that candle's low. And that's just going to keep happening throughout the day based on the movement of price and likely be stopped out by somewhere by the end of the day or by tomorrow or something like that. Unless price just keeps on gapping up for no reason, in which case, great, we're going to secure a lot more. Okay. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys through the management of this trade. Be right back. Okay. 
Uh, just jumping back on here, we have about 45 seconds until the next 15 minute candle closes. And as you can see, this is what constitutes another burst. So very simply, all that's going to happen is this stop is going to be moved to below that low now. Basically, um, the the operandum, the idea behind this. So again, this is taught in the private mentorship. I'll give you guys, the guys that are still watching this, a little bit of insight. The reason we manage with the bursts of these candles is because bursts come in with big orders, right? So if there's a composite operator or a supporter or an institution supporting the order, what's going to happen is that's what's driving the price up. So if the buying is going to continue to happen, it's likely going to happen above this high and keep happening, right? Because that's where the order is being driven up. Otherwise, if this wants to fail, it's going to lose the bursts, the mo the moves that are being bursted. It's going to lose that burst around those areas. Okay, so that's kind of the the operandum, the idea behind it. So there we go. We broke that candle. That means the stop loss is moving up, just like that. And very simply, that's exactly what you're going to see me do right now. So that's why I unpaused the video to show you guys this. So all I do now, management wise. So again, I manage like this all the time. Very very easy. So all I do is I take this now. Right, and I move it on to the next 15 minute low. Simple as that, and then I press on. So again, stop loss is here, so it's off the order books. My actual stop is here. Price will be closed if it gets here now. So I've technically now guaranteed a secure of about, how much would this be? Uh, let's go take a look. So we already took 50% off, as you guys remember, but we've also secured a guaranteed extra 3,000 in this case, right, or a few RR. And again, this is all based on a simulated environment. Please be aware of that. This is perspective based. My results are by no means replicable or my results don't mean that you're going to have results. Just be aware of that, right? Everything is perspective based as per the disclaimer you saw at the beginning of the video. But we've secured an extra 3K guaranteed on this now. And again, all I'm doing now is I'm going to keep managing these bursts. The next 15 minutes, I have another alarm set. If it goes off and it's prices like up here or up here or something, I will move that stop loss again. And very simply, we'll just manage it accordingly, right? So if this keeps going up, this will just be managed with that and we're good to go. So now we're partialed out of profit and we're in overall profit. So we've we've guaranteed secured over three to four RR on this already, guaranteed, and it can only be more from there. And that is why I teach my members to manage this way. And we had a few other people. Uh, he got a full TP taken on that move already. He buy stopped it in there as well. Very good. He forward tested the same move. Um, that was off like the daily, I believe. So I think he sent a little bit of a... Of a setup yeah so this was off like like a daily so he got a really really tight stop but i think he's forward testing at the moment which is great um christoph is in it with me as well very good to hear um this guy got a runner yeah just some amazing stuff going on today um and i and i wrote it out for the team today i basically wrote that i think today for anyone that may have wondered or did not understand because again this is taught in the course but even for people that are brand new to the course, even for newbies, today was a perfect example of what I say every week about news, right? And I hope, hopefully, that you learn something from this video about news as well, where I'm not sitting there calculating the news, guessing what the news is gonna do. I don't really care. I don't sit there looking at the numbers. I still don't know what the numbers that were reported were. I don't know if they're positive or negative. It doesn't matter to me, right? What matters to me is that there was a market. The market condition was met for nice longs. It was within an area for longs. The only reason I didn't take the longs earlier was because of news and because I understand how price moves during news. I waited until the news passed. After the news passed and spread um, meandered, it, it settled down and the move was still there and it was still clean. I took the buy stop in front of you guys. You saw me take the buy stop in here. Um, it got canceled because it was over the lot size risk limit of meant funding accidentally i fucked that up so i apologize so i had to enter a little bit higher so you guys saw me get a little bit of a worse entry but you know that's part of trading sometimes you'll make many mistakes all good we got in we took a partial on this very big burst just by trailing a mini move of what we would expect the burst to do we took a profit off of that burst and then now we're just managing with every new burst that presents itself and you guys are going to see me manage this through i'm going to showcase that management to you you guys are seeing how the exact things I spoke about before this move ever delivered today in front of you, um, hopefully for this video, hopefully you watched the video. You guys saw how we predicted the anticipation of what was gonna happen here. We spoke about how people on the lower time frames are getting stopped out back and forth and are getting anticipated, want, really wanna see the move. We waited for the move to happen. News passed, very good setup still within the mitigated zone, happy to take it. And we got involved in the long and now once again, it's nothing more but a game of management. And we're just going to look to keep taking this up, right? If it wants to go crazy, it can. I doubt it. I'll probably be like, even though I might be right about this entire move here, right? Where it's probably going to make, oops, where it's probably going to make like an up move all the way up. Even though I might be right about that, this comes back to the normal thing I teach on the channel. I'm probably going to be stopped out around like here, maybe here, who knows, right? Because we're just looking for the burst because a lot of people forget this. 
but you're playing two games um, when you're playing in the, in, the, in the market, right? You're playing the analysis game, then you're playing the management game. Once you've completed the analysis game, that's great. That doesn't make you money. Then once you're in a trade, you're playing the second game. <laughs> Fuck you. You're playing the second game, okay? You're playing, you're playing the first game, which is analysis, and then the second game, which is management. So after your analysis is complete and you're in a trade, now you're playing the management game, which means that even if your analysis is wrong, you can make money because of the management game. Even if your analysis is super, super correct and it goes all the way here, you might not make as much money as you thought you would have made because the management game is different than the analysis game. But what's cool is if you've done the testing you've, and you've cultivated the experience, as you play the management game over and over and over again, long-term, you're guaranteed to build edge. And that's how edge is built. That's why when I get involved here, I don't care if price now fails down to the lows because I'm going to make money. I don't care if it goes all the way up because I'm going to make more money. I don't care if it goes up, then takes me out and then goes up. Why? Because I've made my money because I'm aware of what I want to enter, when I want to enter. And then once I've entered, I'm playing the management game. I show up to analyze. When I show up to analyze, I don't guarantee myself trades. I just sit there and analyze. In the case that I analyze and see a potential trade like this one, I either A, look to get involved or B, make sure that there's no red news that's stopping me from getting involved. If there's red news, then I either A, wait for it to pass and then price is no longer in an area that's worth setting up or B, news has passed and the move is still clear. And in the case that that is the case, which it was today, and I recorded this guys for you because it just seemed like that kind of day. I got on today, you know, I'm already looking for bullishness. I spoke with my team yesterday about how bullish I am on this market and want to see the bullishness come in. I got on, I saw this beautiful three bucks setting up right here um, near the beginning of the trend, which we love to see, right? So we knew that this was going to likely result in long. So I decided to make a video. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna record a video for YouTube. Just talk a little bit about how news affects the markets and how if the news doesn't affect this in a negative way, we can easily get involved. And as a result, we're in a phenomenal trade. And now all there is is management, all right? So I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys at the end of this trade. I'm gonna keep on playing this forward for you and keep managing it for you to show you how you manage a trade. Very simply, nothing crazy. Keep Have simple rules for management. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. All right, what's going on guys? Just coming back again. My 15 minute, um, 30, like 30 seconds before 15 minutes just went off or so. So taking a look at this, you can take a look at this, right? This candle right now is not its own burst, right? It's just coming down. So at this point, instead of, I mean, you have an option for moving this up. Like if this closed up here, I'd probably move this stop loss up. However, due to the current move, if it ends like this, I'm going to allow it to basically reaccumulate, right? So this is what is called a reaccumulation model using fractal MBs. This is also a private mentorship concept, but for you guys that are still on this video, I'll kind of go over it. Um, otherwise, of course, I would suggest that you join up with the private because there's a lot more depth to a lot more of the concepts and a lot more concepts than what I was taught here publicly. Okay. So I'm not moving the SL here. I'm going to let it play out. But the idea here is you have MB one, two, three. So you're in three MBs to the top side, which means that you're likely to undergo a reaccumulation, which means that this price might actually break down here a few times and might just hold this and then go long, which is why I'm open to allowing this burst right here, this candle burst to still be the one that is managed to, um, you know, in some cases if this move maybe made another burst, another burst, and then did this exact same candle here, I would have likely moved the stop loss to that low if it happened here, but that's not where it's happening. So contextually, I'm happy to hold this. The idea behind this now is that price is actually very likely to come and take out this low, right? So come and take this low and then hold it and start re-breaking higher, which is what I'm anticipating, which is what I'll play for. So that's kind of the management game there. And as a result, uh, the management will stay to this low, very simple. So we'll go back to the eight cap here, which is through men funding. Um, that's how I'm able to access eight cap as an American is by going through men funding. Stop loss is still at that low. I'm gonna keep it there, not moving it. I'm gonna wait for this 15 minute candle. And basically as this 15 minute candle plays out, we'll see how we're going to manage. Otherwise this price comes back, then that is it. And that'll be the entire trade. Otherwise, if it wants to take it, like I wanna see it take it and then go long, well, fantastic. All right, be back soon. And that's all you gotta know for now. Okay, how to go off again just back again so 15 minute candle just closed it's two minutes into this one and we just had another i'm just going to get rid of this for now we had another burst occur right so i'm going to make this smaller another burst candle occurred happy to see that you know basically smart money is supporting this move up and very simply stop will go up above this and again to showcase it um here we go move it just below this low simple as that and partials are on so now once again if price hits this 100 percent of the position will come off and it'll be closed otherwise if price wants to keep going and this reaccumulation is true price will continue gapping up and fantastic all right see you guys once again Alrighty, what's up another 15 minutes
it seems like has just about uh, it's just about to pass. Uh, you can see the price is kind of slowing down at this point. It's getting to a point of decision. Um, right, I like to sustain my bursts. So really, if this closes up here, I'm happy to move this uh, stop up. And you know, if this wants to stop me out and then go, it is what it is. Otherwise, hopefully, the next candle would, will look to just burst up, and then we get to ride that upwards. Otherwise, we get to secure more of our position on this trade, and we'll be done. So yeah, happy to secure more on that position. Just going to uh, go into here. Just showcasing this for the sake of those of you guys that are not subscribed to the private and just want to get a full-on kind of look at how I might manage a position uh, or do manage a position when I get entered. And that's it. And now we're going to look for the next burst. And simple as that. See you guys again very soon. Thanks. Okay. And we're coming up on the end, about 20 seconds left of this candle. Uh, you can see it's kind of bursting, not really, but at the same time, fractally, we've made the reaccumulation we were looking for and we've made um, some of the breaks on the fractals here. So really price either wants to come back here or make a minor, uh, sorry about that, I had an alarm, or make like a minor reversal and then go long. So I'm going to allow this to be a trail and I'm going to once again trail with the low and just allow this to either just go, go, go now because this is kind of the, this is the, this is the decision point. This either goes now or goes into a range and consolidates or falls off, right? So range i kind of want to be out of this don't really want to manage it anymore not range and take off great easy management let it keep going throughout the week if it just really wants to blow up comes back down great i secure my money and i'm out right so very easily we'll get in here move this up with the manager simple as that and press on and we're good to go and that's it and 15 minute gets settled again and i'm out of here all right peace all right we're back uh new 15 minute candle has started and that's the burst we were looking for so we easily manage under this burst and we allow the market to either subside or continue bursting. Simple as that. So we jump in here. <laughs> yeah, you guys have already seen this too many times, but this is my day in the life of this is all I do all day long over and over again. And we're secured there and yeah, nothing left to do. See you guys in 15 minutes again. All right, next 15 minute candle. We're about a minute away from it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at this point, it's getting kind of funny. I was just messing around with some people in the in the group like this is it's, I mean, it's disgusting how easy um, things can get when you finally understand how to follow price and then get involved when price presents the things that you're waiting for and looking for, right? This is the whole idea of, I don't, pre I don't um, react as a, I don't predict, a, uh, sorry, I don't react as a trader, I predict, right? A lot of traders love to say this whole thing of like, um, we don't predict price, we react to it. And that is exactly why most people stay stuck because when you react to price, you're reacting emotionally. You have no idea what you're gonna expect. And as a result, you do the wrong thing. Every time I show up, I have a prediction behind what I want price to do. And then if price reacts to my prediction, I get involved. Just like today, you guys witnessed the same thing. In the webinar, I spoke about the, the bullishness I wanted to see here. My prediction is to see bullishness that comes up here and then pushes through it and continues going long. That's the prediction. Price can now react to that prediction or fail. If it fails, I walk away. Great, I showed up to analyze, there's nothing to do, I walk away. In the case that price reacts to my prediction, which is exactly what it did this morning, then I can start following the three box or accumulations upwards. And as a result, when we saw this, I mean, we went over this at this point, it's not hindsight anymore, but again, this was all done through the mentorship, of course. So it's available there. Again, I'm not here to sell you on, oh my God, I predict everything. Um, Cause I, I don't really care. I teach my students to do this and they do this themselves for themselves all the time, but here we go. Another 15 minute candle ended. That's another very clear burst. Stop loss gets moved up once again, very simply. So let's move this over. Stop loss gets moved up once again. Now here's something that's important. This is what trend following looks like. In trend following, you give up gains. That's part of trend following. I don't know if this price wants to go up here, if this price wants to keep going. I don't know if it wants to come back down right now. I don't care because once again, I'm playing the management game now, right? <laughs> the trading, the analysis game, and then the management game. Right now I'm playing the management game. I don't know what price wants to do next. My, I, I was speaking to this with my mentorship recently. Let me very quickly go like this. Um, Cause I took this note on my phone. So I'm gonna move this up. There we go, very easy. So I took this note on my phone and I spoke about this with my mentorship um, on Sunday. And by the way, you should join up if you want quips for psychology, for improvement, the tools and all that fun stuff. But what we spoke about uh, I wrote a note on it, so I'm looking it up on my phone right now because I wrote my personal note because over the week I just have, you know, I'm at, I'm at night, I can't sleep, and then I have dreams about what I need to tell people. So they, they start to really grasp the importance of what they're doing. And basically the thing that I spoke about was that uncertainty is a very weird thing in this market, okay? Me personally, your mentor, the guy you're watching right now, the guy you might subscribe to, the guy you might give money to to learn from, okay? I, me, right here, any given day, um, I'm uncertain 
about what price is going to do at every point in the market. I don't know what it's going to do in the next minute. I don't know what it's going to do in 15 minutes, in 30 minutes. I don't know what it's going to do because of red news. I don't know what it's going to do on the daily chart, the weekly, the monthly. I have no idea what price is going to do next. There is full on uncertainty in regards to what price is going to do next. This is why I show up to analyze and not to always trade, right? I show up to analyze because I know that that analysis can play out, cannot play out. That is the uncertainty that comes with trading. However, with that uncertainty, okay, let me find where I wrote this. Um, the, the difference is that I personally am never uncertain about taking a trade. So even though I may show up to a market extremely uncertain, um, and that uncertainty is rooted in the fact that for me to have a trade present, I need SSC, the three box system to be present as long as well as the management to be present all within a context to be present. If none of these are present, then just because there's a structural narrative or an SND does not mean that I'm certain about price, right? When I had this zone drawn out here that I wanted to trade from, it does not mean I'm certain that price is going to go long from here. Just like I started the video today by saying, I don't know if this news is going to make price go long, short. I don't know if the news is going to be positive, negative. I still don't know. I don't know if price wants to hold this area or not. All I know is that based on what I've studied, in the case that price wants to hold this three box and price wants to accumulate here, I'm going to get a trade. And in the case that SSC, as well as the management, as well as the context of this overall trade lines up, I'm going to get an entry. And the second that I enter this trade, even though there's uncertainty behind what's going to happen, there is extreme certainty in the entry. And now the entry can end up in a break even, a loss or a win, and I won't care because I know that over time, due to the fact that I've tested my system and I know that when I get involved, my system is going to play out over time, I know that over time I'm guaranteed to make an edge. I'm guaranteed to build my bottom line. And that's why I think it's important for a lot of traders to stop showing up to just trade and trade and trade and instead to show up to analyze. Because when you show up to analyze, it doesn't matter whether the analysis works or not. The only thing that matters is, is when you take a trade, is the analysis you had playing out and is it delivering to you money or not, right? My analysis still hasn't played out. My analysis to see this long continue to hear and hear. That's the analysis. That analysis could be fully wrong and just go short right now. But guess what? You guys have seen it firsthand. We're securing money on this trade. We've already secured money on it. The fact that it's continuing to go is great. It just it just gives us more, right? So we're not partialed on that and we're going to wait for the next one and we're going to keep partialing and keep on moving. Uh, not partialing. We're just going to keep on moving our stop as it goes. And this is also hand in hand with the importance of a trend following system. A trend following system doesn't let you get in at always the low and then get out at the high. That's not how it works. With the trend following system, you understand what the direction or the trend or the bias is. And then after getting involved, you manage that position until it stops you out. You don't know how far a trend can go. Many, if you talk to any profitable trader, someone that's made a lot of money in the markets, the one thing they'll tell you, if you ask them, what do you think about Tesla? Is Tesla a good company? The one thing they'll tell you is, I don't know if it's going to go to a thousand tomorrow or to zero. I frankly don't care. Because what they know is that when they show up to look at that market, whether it's going up, down, sideways, to the wazoo, down to the wazoo, into space, doesn't matter. When they look at that market, they know that all they have to do is wait in this uncertainty until there's a certainty behind a uh, entry confirmation. And then when that entry confirmation happens, which is what you see on my screen right now, the entry confirmation happened with what I'm used to seeing, so I was able to enter, that's when traders get involved and make money. And even at that point, if you ask them, is it going up? They can say, yeah, based on my testing, you know, it should go up, but I have no idea. This thing can go up, down, sideways, wherever the fuck it wants to go. It can go left, right, up, down, whatever. So something that a lot of you need to carry with yourself is the fact that there's going to be uncertainty in terms of where price is going next. But if you over time uh, keep growing your edge and keep on, um, what's it called? And, and you refine your confirmation, then you're going to get to a point where you realize that it's not about the analysis holding or not holding or failing or not failing. It's about when you take the entry over time, taking enough of those entries creates a model that you make money in, right? You have the three box or the SSC, you have the management of that, and then you have the contextual elements of these put together. So that's something that you learned throughout my videos. And that's why you see this, right? I'm willing to give up the gains of this candle, right? So this was up like over 10K or more, like 16K in profit, 15K in profit or something, and now it's coming down. That's fine. That's part of trading. And I know that, yeah, this could come all the way back down. And it's going to stop me out at that point. That's part of the trading game. And if you don't realize that you're never going to make money, right? And another another further point as to why, you know, this trade specifically might have worked so well because we're looking at a lot of stuff here on the side. So you have a lot of people in the mentorship just doing very very well. Um Sp speaking a lot here is my trade. This guy wasn't able to get positioned. We had uh Dr. Clement hit his full TP, very good there. Um but basically 
yeah, as we're, as we're going, you know, one of our members who's been phenomenal, he's been trading very, very well over the last few weeks. He said, zoom out and look at it from a higher time frame, left to right. The amount of people that will have their stops above each high is ridiculous. So this is what I teach you on this channel for free, right? I teach you to recognize how other smart money people are operating, how other retail is operating. Many people, once again, are sitting there, maybe on the hourly or something going, all right, herder, we got a, a supply, supply, we might hit the supply, supply unmitigated, oh, another unmitigated mitigated supply oh shit supply oh there's supply right here we might tap into oh hey i almost missed this supply oh and the inducement candle right here okay I, I i'm gonna sell one of these areas here i go right and due to this nature of thought process regardless of which one they have selected without looking at the overall bias of the market well that's how these big moves come into the market and they sit there wondering how am i always on the wrong side of price right so that's kind of what we had this guy say here the amount of people that will have their stops above each one of these highs on on multiple time frames is ridiculous it's pure liquidation and i basically said it's it's free real estate that's all it is right and it's because it's the same thing that i've taught you guys time after time after time like i put it here this is how most people are thinking when you don't need to do that zoom out do your left to right do your analysis run your analysis understand where you are in an overall bias understand what the likelihood of price continuing in a certain direction is based on that analysis if the analysis begins to play your prediction begins to play because price is now reacting to your prediction get involved if price doesn't react to your prediction and your prediction is turning out to be wrong you might take a loss you might take a break even or price just goes against you and you're fine and there's nothing to do right now my bias might fully fail but guess what Money's been secured on this. And if this bias goes, well, there's only an upside left. There's only upside to be left. There's nothing else to do, right? All I have to do is now wait. If this price gets stopped out, great. I'm, I'm basically done for the week. I mean, I'm still going to trade intra week if I get setups and stuff, because of course I'm a trader. So I show up to trade, show up to analyze. And in the case that there's a trade, I'll trade. But I'm, I'm not sitting here moping or, or crying or sad about the fact that this, this trade might take me out now. Um, you know, I've done, I've done exceptionally well for myself on this trade as is. Um, so yeah, I, I hope this is this is maybe opening you up to something, right? Like we, we have the jokes here, but literally, if you've watched my public free content, not even my private, if you're not subscribed, you don't have to be. You know how I feel about this striped pajama fallacy or this fallacy of dumb smart money or dumb retail going SND, 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 right? Drawing every single zone they can find. Because when you do that, you put yourself on the wrong side of price. And even though one of them might hit and might magically work because eventually every line on a chart might do something, well, you feel like you're doing something, but there is no edge. There is no story. There is no contextual basis. There is no prediction. And there's there's no ability to let price play off that prediction and potentially get you positioned in a way that allows you to manage in a very, very um, great manner, right? I'm just going to take this and move it just right below that low just to make sure I get tapped out as it takes out that low. There we go. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. So I'm just going to let this do its thing. And again, in fifth, in five minutes when this ends, I'm not going to move it because it's already... Um, I mean, this candle is pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to let it either keep going or finally come down, stop me out, and that'll be done. That'll be me done for the day. And that's all it takes, right? And again, it, it might look easy. And I mean, it gets easy because you start to understand what you're doing every single week. But it's not it's not like just sun cakes, sunshine, and rainbows, right? It's not, it's not like that. Um, yeah, there it is, man. There it is. See, he drew these as well just to showcase how you know, retail's thinking. This is this is all just basic liquidation, right? You do this and yeah, you're going to have the issue of, but Mr. Ment FX, all my zones fail. Well, no shit, they're all failing. You're looking at, you're just, you're marking up every and every zone, right? So again, this trader's not looking to trade these these short. This is just a further of my, um, my example where most traders that are doing this are taking losses nonstop. Why? Because they're trying to they're trying to basically anticipate and predict every mitigation. But that's a dumb thing to do because if the market's showing you a directional bias and that directional bias is being met cross time frame, and as you all know from the private mentorship, we're overextended on the MB counts on the downside. Well, you start to understand how everything here acts as easy liquidity, right? And the and the likelihood is that price is going to keep going long, which is why I look to take this long at the start of the at the start of the week off of this three day, um, what I call cluster off of here that was refined further. Right, extremely, extremely simple analysis. We broke this all down, all prior. Again, if you want examples of that, you wanna see live examples of that for over two years, two and a half years now, nonstop, the private mentorship is for you. And if you wanna learn how to use the concepts that I use every single day, if you wanna learn how this was a, um, how this was an FMB entry, why I'm buy stopping this, why it's a triple M, uh, why you know any of these things exist, well, you have the you have the opportunity to learn that with the community. And of course, 
like the community, as you can see, like many people that begin to understand how to how to further develop their understanding, you know, um, if you want to be in the in the in the area that a lot of people are finding themselves currently, where they start to understand, you know, why prices deliver the way they deliver, and they stop worrying about the the frivolous shit like, oh, my zones aren't holding, my structure isn't holding, because these the, the people in my mentorship are not people that are sitting there on Instagram scrolling through change of character flippy dippy charts that have like you know sixty thousand likes, and it's just like, yeah, smart money or whatever the fuck it is. The people that are interested in learning, that's the that's what I'm providing them. And you can learn how to actually think about the markets, how to think about edge, how to think about profitability, how to utilize psychology in your own um, in your own method. Stop thinking about this idea that everything is sunshine, rainbows and perfection and easy. And if you just if you just draw the high and the low, you're going to guarantee uh, free money. Start recognizing how structures don't hold, how s ds don't hold, why that actually is a good thing and how you actually can make money doing that. Start focusing on a left to right approach. Start focusing on multi time frame confluence, higher within lower, not separated because once you do that, you start understanding where price is likely to head. And then once you have that and the analysis begins to play out, aka your prediction of price begins to be um, met with the delivery of price, that's when you can look to get involved, just like you guys saw today. And if there's no red news, then you know, you're good to go. And if there is red news, you can wait just till it at, just till it passes because let dumb money do their thing and then you can get involved. And then you manage and you can do this cross time frame, any time frame. Again, for those of you that are still here um, and do end up joining up, Live trading number 14 uh, showcases me doing this exact same thing on just the daily chart. I use the daily chart as my lowest time frame. The daily is my confirmation time frame, and that's the only time frame I use to enter. And you guys are going to see the exact same thing because, again, the concepts I teach you and what I teach you to do is fractal in nature. You don't need to step down to one minutes or one seconds or anything if you want to trade a higher time frame. Today it was taken off a of 15 minute because it was clear, but you could have easily taken this off a of four hour as well. There was a great four hour trade, which I'll go over with the with the team probably like next week on a Sunday. Daily had an exact play as we spoke about in the mentor uh, in the webinar 90. So check that out. We spoke about this exact low getting taken out as part of the fractal moves here and that being met with an anticipatory triple M. That's what happened right there. And this buy stop being a great place to take along and that's exactly what we see playing out now and as a result you know if this wants to sustain its move well the lower time from traders will have opportunities and good biases to work with to the top side and that's that's how we use it so i hope this is helping you again i'm gonna probably pause this and, and show it again once um i get taken out here or if it goes again and then we get taken out um just to show you guys the full management of this trade from the very inception of it from first from the first point that i took it up to um the very finale of it right and hopefully you take something with you from this, whether it be psychology, whether it be technical, whether it be management, or whether you realize that, holy shit, you know, I've been spending a lot of time going in circles for no reason, and I'm ready to basically put myself in the shoes and alongside the, the thought process that is showcased and taught and basically ingrained in your in your being within the MentFX mentorship. So that's the place for you. All right, guys, um, who knows what this is going to do? Nobody knows. I'm uncertain at every point whether price wants to go up or down. I don't care though, because I know that when a certain bit of characteristics are met, certain variables are met, and then I get my entry, that's the only thing I'm certain about because that's what edge means. And now the market can do whatever it wants. The market can go, go up and play properly with my analysis or go against me, but either way, I've made money. All right. And it's all perspective based, of course. All right. I'll see you guys soon once uh, this trade yeah, either fails or goes. See you guys then. Thanks. All right, here we are back again, about 40 seconds left of the current candle. I'm just going to open these up side by side. So in the case that it wants to make its down push right through it, you can see how the manager works. For those of you interested in getting my manager or confused about how it works, basically, um, you know, this is called the rogue stop loss. So it basically controls, um, well, it's a partialing tool as well. So you can enter values here. Oh, let me turn this back on just in case. So you can enter values here and, and take a percentage. So right now it's at 100%. I'm actually updating the tool a little bit right now to make it even better functionality, look a lot cleaner. Um, and basically price will, you can use it as partials or you can use it as a rogue stop loss. And what that means is that, you know, it'll set it up for you when you enter based on the stop loss you want, like you saw us do it um, earlier just now when I entered the actual trade. And now I can just move it. And very simply, if this line gets hit by only the price on the screen, not by spread or anything, only the price on the screen, then the, the entire position will close. So hopefully it happens here. We'll see. Um, maybe it can reach down. Otherwise, we're going to go back into some up moves, which are going to be even more crazy. But it is what it is. That's just how it goes. So yeah, I don't want to keep you on here too long. So I'm going to pause and then re-pause when I think it might hit the low. Okay, so here I come. All right, so we're on pausing here. 
like we're like seven minutes into the candle and i think it's really cool to see all right so maybe you guys get to see it right here so just watch the order watch the line here okay watch the line and there we go just like that line gets tapped entire order is closed and that's it and that's a fully managed position um and that's getting in using the the mentifex methodology there you go off of a 15 minute as the lowest time frame not going any lower than that and you can apply this to one hour four hour two hour daily weekly again in the mentorship you have examples of it on the daily i'm recording right now right yeah you have examples of it for the daily i can show it for the weekly monthlies quarterlies it doesn't matter one minute five minute depending on the kind of trader you are the kind of edge you want to have there's a multitude of ways to get involved in these markets um because it's all fractal right and if you understand the side of the market you're on and then you follow the moves on a lower time frame or on a higher whatever it is that you want to do um these kind of moves can be available to you all over the place these, these are called like the burst moves that you can find and they're available all the time i mean look look back in the past and you'll see there's burst moves available absolutely everywhere to you especially with um trend and there you have it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you learned something from this and if you did and if you found a lot of value um in this video itself if you feel like you've gained knowledge in in some way or shape or form then just recognize that this is only the surface and the private mentorship. If you really work through the entire course from the start to the finish, uh, will develop an understanding in you. Unlike any other, there is about, I would say easily a hundred X, uh, deeper knowledge available there than you probably learned here. But again, um, this is all made free to you. So you can use it to understand, to learn, to go get funded. If you want to get funded again on your own time, on your, with your own responsibility, this is all perspective based as always. Um, but yeah, if you feel like you've learned some something and you feel like you've gained some value, well, you know where you can get a lot more of that and you know how to surround yourself with people that do it every single week, every single day, every single year. Um, and we have, you know, endless amounts of content on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.